Just had lunch here with one of the higher ups at Black Rock. They take up two two floors here. Look at that. So you're not you doing marketing? Yes, I'm doing marketing for Mark Fisher. Okay. Yeah, we got the same glasses, man. There we go. Take one. All right. So you gonna have your own financial services company one of these days? For sure. I got in that business a long time ago. Oh, wow. It's a good business. A lot of people are retiring. A lot of wealth under management. I just had. Uh, I just came from a lunch with one of the guys from BlackRock. So they're managing six trillion dollars. You don't even need to manage that much, and you'll be good. I'll see you guys. Yeah. There's levels to this game. This company, BlackRock, has six trillion or more under asset management, which is insane. There's levels to this game. Whenever you think you're big, someone's always bigger. So never get cocky. Interesting story though, the founder of BlackRock used to work for another company called Blackstone. And he told the founder of the other company, I wanna do my own thing, you wanna do it with me? And the founder of Blackstone said, nah, I'm not really interested, you go do it on your own. So he changed the name to BlackRock, became 10 times bigger. And that original guy says, man, I shouldn't have said no. Be careful what you say no to. Be careful who you laugh at, because they might get bigger than you. Stay humble. <laughs> Stay humble about your ideas. Stay humble about your ability to judge other people's ideas because the story of life, the story of business is, is full of, of these exact examples. When you're overconfident, um, you write things off. People block their blessings all the time. Never block your blessing. You know, sometimes you can't do something, but just say, hey, I don't think I can do it right now. Never say, oh, I don't think this is gonna work. And like that's that's <laughs> that's lesson one. Like I said, lesson two is no matter how much money you make or how successful you get in any area of life, there's always someone coming for you. If you're Michael Jordan, LeBron James is right behind you. So just live life. Don't live out of envy. Don't live out of pure ambition. Live in the moment. Enjoy the moment because there's no winners. There's no winners. At best, you become in a in a tier of a winning group but there is no one winner in life you know who, who won in life everybody's dead nobody can be remembered so enjoy the game of life people say oh ty what's your net worth you know is it five million well online says five million i don't know where they got that from maybe 10 years ago but who cares who cares i'm not in the game to try to be the richest person in the world like Steve Jobs said, he didn't want to be the richest man in the graveyard, but he ended up being the richest man in the graveyard. There's more to this game. There's levels to the game, but there's also more to the game. There's levels to money. There's millions, hundreds of millions, billions, and then you get in the trillions world, you know? And for me, I'm like, well, you know what? My main concern is the four pillars of the good life, health, wealth, love, happiness. I don't want to sacrifice my physical health in order to gain and win and win and win and win when it comes to wealth. I want both. And then I don't want to win so much. I don't want to be in the gym all the time. I don't want to be making money all the time and forget about love, friends, family, romance, social life, you know? And I don't want to be so social and so focused on making money, so focused on my body that I forget to be happy. Happiness has to be worked for because it comes in the moment. If you're always projecting into the future, which is one thing that our homo sapien brain allows us to do that not all species can do, well, that comes at a price. You can always be thinking about how to do something better in the future, in the future, in the future, and you never stop projecting and you never go, well, life ain't so bad right now. You know, I gotta stop, pinch myself and say, hey Ty, life isn't so bad right now for you. You know, I'm a lucky person. And one day my luck will, one day my luck will run out. Hopefully not while I'm alive, but one everybody dies of a heart attack. Never forget that. Everybody dies of heart failure. At some point, your heart stops. You're done. It's time for someone else to win. I don't believe re in reincarnation, but what's up, man? Okay. Hello. <laughs> Never know what you'll see in New York City. Um, so, like I said, make your own rules to the game and then stick to those rules. Looks like we're about to have a fight here on the street here. I don't know what these guys are doing. What's up, man? You want a picture? Thank you. Are you French? Uh, no, okay. I, uh, actually, I'm coming from an, um, uh, high school. What's up? Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Nice to meet you, man. Uh, what was I saying here? 
Like I said, enjoy the moment. Enjoy meeting a new person. Money's always there to be made. <laughs> There's always something better. There's always levels to it. There's always a black rock. Wow, look at this. She got a lot of pigeons. Homeless. I always have a soft spot. Give a little money. Didn't plan this, but I always feel bad for people who take care of animals and are homeless. I feel like. Here you go. Take that. Feed, feed the pigeons. But more of you entrepreneurs, people follow me that are doing business stuff. Also, just do stuff that you like, like do jujitsu, do boxing, do what this guy's doing. Play video games. Not too much video games, but play some video games, you know? There's levels to it, so since you're never gonna be, what are the odds of being the next BlackRock? No humans ever had six trillion dollars. An institution has. I think the president is here. I'm on Fifth Ave. President Trump lives here, and there's a lot of police going by. What is this? There's also like a, oh, I thought it was an armored truck. It's a post office. <laughs> Not quite the same. Um, but like I said, you ain't gonna be a trillionaire, most likely, you know? So since there's levels to the game, win on other levels. Win on the level of pure enjoyment of life. In fact, I've coined a new term that I try to live by. It's called LNW, lifestyle net worth. Lifestyle net worth. Lifestyle net worth. Not your, just your FNW, that's financial net worth. That is a good measurement to keep track of, but it's not the only manage, uh, measurement. You've got your health net worth, your physical body. What's your net worth of your body? I know people worth billions, their body's falling apart. On a one to 10 scale, they're a one. So who cares if you're a 10? I know a friend of my friend, not a friend of mine, but he's a billionaire. He's got over a billion dollars cash in the bank, but he's so overweight and out of shape, he can't get out of bed. So his lifestyle net worth sucks because his health net worth is dragging down the value and the utility of his financial net worth. Balance out the four, health, wealth, love, happiness. There's a lot of people online, a lot of people writing books, giving good advice, but they're not talking about the big picture. I'm like, baby, this is a big picture. <laughs> You're only as strong as your weakest link. Make friends, have a lot of good friends, not people who betray you. Romance, have real romance in your life if that's your thing. But for sure, friendships. Connect with the good people in your family. Forget the family that's not good. Just see them at Thanksgiving. Build your lifestyle net worth. I'd rather have a high lifestyle net worth than have six trillion under management. And you know, I was having lunch with this executive uh, at BlackRock and he told me, man, he's like, I've worked at a hedge fund. I've worked at all these different things with crazy cultures where I'm surrounded by people that I didn't always get along with. And he's like, what's important is happiness while making money. You can do both. People think they're mutually exclusive. They are not mutually exclusive. They are not mutually exclusive at all. So there's the, I think the Trump Tower right there. I don't know, I don't know if the president's there, but maybe I can't film anymore. Leave a comment below. What's your lifestyle net worth, one to 10? When you factor in physical health, wealth, love, happiness. Average them together, what's your score? Leave a comment below.